if you're watching this video, you probably have a Titleist driver, ferry one, or hybrid in your bag, and you're wondering how the heck do I adjust it for my swing? Well, today we're focusing totally on the Titleist SureFit hosel to help you get dialed in. At Second Swing, club fitting is at the center of our operations. We want every golfer that comes through our store or through our online store to make sure their clubs are fit for their swing and the Titleist SureFit Hosel allows us to do that easily and frequently. Today, we're gonna to show you everything you need to know about the SureFit Hosel so that you can make the adjustments for your game. Now, a few things to remember about the SureFit Hosel from Titleist. First of all, the Titleist SureFit Hosel has been the same hosel that has been implemented in each driver series dating back to the 910 drivers. So that includes the new TSR models, the TSI models, the TS models, 917, 915, 913, and the 910 drivers. And when it comes to the fairy woods, the Tyler Surfit hosel is on each of the models dating back to the 913 family. In total, there are 16 loft and lie settings available on the Tyler Surfit hosel. The ring available on the sleeve uh, has letters A, B, C, D, and then the sleeve itself is numbered one, two, three, and four. That is how the 16 loft and lie settings are created. Through the Titleist SureFit Hosel chart that you can see on screen now, you'll be able to easily dissect which setting you need for your game. So for example, if you need more height or more loft, you can go up on the chart. And then if you need maybe more draw or to fight a slice, you can go left on the chart to produce more draw. So for example, A3 is the highest and most draw setting available for the Titleist SureFit Hosel. And C1 is the lowest flight and most fade bias on the Titleist SureFit Hosel. However, for you lefties, it's important to remember that the settings are going to be a little bit inverse for you. The D4 setting is actually going to be standard for you, as you can see on the chart on your screen right now. So take note of that when you're making your adjustments. And one more note to make is that the hybrid is actually going to be different loft increments using the Titleist SureFit Hosel. In the drivers and fairways, the loft increments are by three quarters of a degree. However, with the hybrid, those loft increments are by one full degree. Now let's go see how it works. All right, so now let's actually make an adjustment with the SureFit Hosel. I've got a Titleist TSI2 driver right here, and it is currently in the A1 setting, which is gonna be the standard setting for all of you right-handed golfers out there. So from the A1 setting, let's say I wanted to increase my trajectory a little bit, but also play more of a draw. With that said, I'm gonna to go to the D3 setting. But first I have to take the club head off of the shaft, and to do that, insert the wrench here into the screw and rotate counterclockwise. I can take the club head off, detach it. As I mentioned before, you have your ring, which has the letters A, B, C, D, and then you have your sleeve, which has the numbers one through four. I'm gonna stack letter D on top of the number three. I'm gonna line up the back of the club head. There is a, a dot there to indicate that you're lined up properly. All you have to do then, insert the wrench back into the screw, rotate clockwise. And as you start to feel it tighten, you got to make sure it clicks like so, and then you're ready to swing. The Titleist SureFit Hosel is a tool that our club fitters use in the fitting bay every single day to help dial golfers in for the right driver and the right driver setting for their swing. But hopefully with the information in this video, you'll be able to dial yourself in, whether it's out on the driving range or right before the first tee on the golf course. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.